Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shen, and today we're playing the Cherokee here in the Open Rose Alice for Conquest of Paradise. We've been really working on colonizing, getting our coastline all locked up, and we're almost done. We have two more provinces to go. One is getting colonized right now, and the other one will be next. So that's all nice, fine, and dandy. Uh, westernization is done. Our religious conversion is completely done. We are Catholic now. And uh, we're looking at getting a war started with the Aztec. We have 20, we have 36,000 troops on their border. And they have a total of 30,000 troops in entirety. And we have way better tech than them. Tech 13 westernized units, whereas they're sitting on tech 7 with Mesoamerican units. So I'm not too concerned about them. Uh, do we have generals? We have a 0-0. Zero, zero and a 3-1. Wow, a 0-0. Zero, zero. You know what? Let's see if we can get a better guy than that. Can we do that? A 0-2. Zero, Alright, well, that's better than 0-0. Than zero, zero. In fact, I'm going to kick the 0-0 zero, zero guy because he's just terrible. There we go. Alright, and let's declare war, shall we? Let's see. Holy War. I think we're going to do Colonial Conquest. Why? Because it's cheaper for annexing stuff. Who wants to join me? Portugal! Ha <laughs> ha! Portugal wants to join me, but no, we're not going to do that. All right, let's go. Colonial Conquest. War on the Aztecs. This has been a long time coming, let me tell you that. Wow. We have tons of manpower sitting up. Let me turn the volume down a little bit. We have tons of manpower ready to go. Uh, our max has increased to 66k. Very nice. Uh, we've repaid all of our loans. Have a bunch of level 1 advisors. I guess we could bring this up to level 2s at some point. We certainly don't need missionary strength right now. Hmm. Can we afford a level 2? Yeah, we can afford a level 2. Alright, give me a level 2. Might as well. And then we got to start focusing on buildings after that. Let's uh, split you guys up. 7, 4, 8. That's not that bad of a combo. We don't really have any revolt risks, so this should be uh, very good. Let's go. Aztecs have war taxes. Good for you. Our allies are currently Spain and Portugal. We have marriages with them. Now these are level 2 forts. Everything is level 2. Okay. So we'll leave um, one cannon and one soldier at each fort. Actually, let me leave one there. And we'll leave one here. And then we'll head into the fog. Same thing here. We'll leave one dude with one cannon to go that way and one dude with one cannon to stay here and the rest of us shall go into the fog oh, there he is hello I see you there oh unfortunately we already <laughs> engaged him <laughs> it's I guess two weeks to get there wow survive my friend that's half of his army there there we go they didn't get wiped, but we'll follow them. Um, yeah, I think I'll just leave you there. He's running to Huastec, which is this way. Yeah, the problem is it's fog, so we won't be able to follow him very quickly. In fact, we're going to be rather slow. But we'll try to bring the rest of our army down as well. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, he already moved on to whatever the next province is. Ah, he stopped uh, over here. Okay. Now he's running to Zapotec. Oh, he's really going south, isn't he? Wow. It's fine, I guess. Uh, let's take another dude and a cannon. And you're going to go to the capital. And uh, another dude. And the last cannon are going to stay here. And then we're going to go south into the fog. Max relations with Spain. That's fine. He's running up to Tamulipas. On the 30th. When are we going to arrive? We're going to arrive on uh, the 8th of February. So we're going to be way behind him if we don't go now. So let's go now. And um, I'll see if we can't engage him here on the coastline first. Can we get there first? Yeah, of course we can. Okay. Maybe what we should do, slow down time, and then we'll try to engage him into Mulipas where he's going to be the attacker. Yeah, that'll work. So how long does it take us to get there? Uh, 20 seconds. That should be fine. Yeah. 
So wait until the 29th and then we'll go. Because I do need to squash his army at some point. This is half of his army. Okay, he's still committed to tomorrow. Very good. Let's see if we can't squish him. Looks like we've already maxed relations with all the Europeans. That's okay. Oh, they didn't squish. Damn it. Well, we'll follow them. And let's get back to relations. Yeah, still good in Spain and Portugal. I think, yeah, we were working on the Netherlands, but they don't seem interested. They would have to get out of neutral. To get any kind of relationship with them, we would have to get them out of neutral. I'm not sure that's very possible. Uh, let's go back to Sweden again. And maybe Scotland. Yeah, go to Scotland. Because anyone that can help against Great Britain is going to be a good ally. In the meantime, march! He's just going to shatter retreat through that province, but it's okay. We'll see where he goes. We already have the capital walls busted. That's nice. Let's run into Campeche. Okay. Oh, we got a new cardinal. Go us. So we now have six out of the seven cardinals, and we got a freebie on the way. Okay. And he's the youngest one as well. All right, we'll save up maybe 50 points, and we'll go for this Austrian guy. Uh, follow him, please. Ah, there's another army. Okay, so he's running to Tlaxcala. We'll take uh, the bigger army to meet, meet him in Tlaxcala. That'll stop him in his tracks, probably. No? Alright. Oh, it did stop him. Okay. Now he's running this way. That's fine. Um, yeah, he already retreated through the province, so... Hmm. Here, let me drop off uh, a dude in the cannon. So we can start sieging up that place. Yep. Sieges are going just fine. Okay, now we can siege Tlaxcala. We'll leave a dude here. And move on. I think same thing here. We'll leave a dude and move on. He's just going to group up his giant death stack of 30, and then we'll see what happens. But now he wants to attack me on the coast over here. Well, you know what? Why don't we bring another 19 guys down, just for fun. Let's see. The 18th of May. 13th of May. Mm, probably can't hold out that long. Actually, we probably can. Sweden is the emperor again, of course. Because, you know, Sweden is the emperor. Sounds logical. It's only like the second or third time I've ever seen that. In all the games I've played. It's just rare. All right, now you're going to go there? Yep. And I think we'll follow like this. That should work. Actually, why don't you leave a guy here? And move on. We'll see if we can't trap his army over here somewhere. Probably possible. He's retreating right through my army. Yep, of course. Uh, go this way. Uh, let's talk to the colonies again. I mean, we're allied with their master, so I assume that should be fine. Oh, let's talk to France again. Wouldn't want to lose that relationship. They, they, they definitely hate Britain. Britain has some significant enemies, yeah. I mean, they're not amazing, but enemies are good for us. Move on. Alright, provinces are starting to fall. Good. Good. 
Not that anyone cares, but Galicia has a regent. <laughs> and I have coffee that needs drinking. Hey, their capital just fell. Excellent. So now we can take a look at how much cost we need if we want to vassalize them. Uh, looks like we're going to need 100. Oh, it wouldn't be a vassal. It would be a protectorate. Really? So even though we're right next to them, it would be a protectorate. You're kidding, right? These guys border my only nation. This is not my colony. This is my nation. But it's still going to be a protectorate. Well, that's just bullshit. I guess we're going to annex them. But it says it would cost a thousand points. Are you kidding me? It says it would cost me a thousand Diplo points to annex them. Really? So you can't vassalize them? Well, this was unexpected. Definitely a change. Wow. Hmm. Well, we could just take a few provinces. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll take half of their nation or something. guys go this way. Okay, do we have enough points? Not yet. But we will soon enough. A couple more months, I guess. More stuff falling. Works for me. Uh, follow him. Yes. I don't know where he's going, really, but follow him anyway. Can we get there in time? Looks like we can. Yeah, just barely. Huh. There we go. Man, those rebels. So I guess it's treating us as a European nation because we're westernized now. But that doesn't make sense. We're not a European nation. Our nation exists only in North America. Hmm. Interesting, but weird. Go kick some butt. Well, we do have backup on the way, but I guess we don't really need it, do we? We're doing just fine. Genoa will cede Sardinia to Naples. Switzerland will give Core Trent to Austria. Alright, so Switzerland and Genoa both lost out. It looks like they do actually want to play. Yep, he's going to Belize. All right. And now he's not. <laughs> now they're just going to hole up in Honduras and wait. But the waiting is the hardest part. Didn't you learn anything from Tom Petty? All right, I think we're fine now. They do still have 30,000 guys, but they're just going to chill down here. I wonder if getting a I wonder if getting a border with Portugal is going to cause relations problems. It might. Two of our cardinals died. That's unfortunate.
Yeah, I really don't want to get a border with Portugal. But what choice do we have? I guess we can leave those two available. No, but then Portugal will just attack them. Three. Let's see. What is this region? This is Colonial Mexico. Okay. So he would need these two as well. He would need all five provinces here to get an actual colony, and then we wouldn't have a border with Portugal. So maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll take these two and then sell them to Portugal? Maybe? I don't know. I'll think about it. But yeah, if we border their colony, that's fine. I just don't want to direct border with Portugal. You feel me? You dig? Oh, they're coming. They're coming to Guatemala. They're coming to attack me. I got a decent general there, too. Alright. Well, let me leave two little dudes here. And uh, we'll bring some backup when you attack. Oh, he changed his mind. <laughs> He's like, no, we probably can't win that. Ooh. Growth of... Oh, I hate this event. It's going to drop stability or lower our troops' morale for 10 years. Ah. <sighs> You know what? Lowered morale for 10 years. Or 20 years. So be it. Alright, here we go. Uh, 4th of February. Okay. Come on, you little Aztecs. What are you waiting for? Well, I know what you're waiting for. Oh, I thought he was going to Guatemala, but he changed his mind and went to Belize. He tricked me. Eh, well, he didn't trick me. I just didn't check. I thought he was going to Guatemala for sure. Apparently not. Poland annexed Danzig. Okay. Poland is back and strong, I guess. And Tlaxcala, okay. At least we're winning the battle easily. He's running to Yucatan. Yeah. All right. Let's go beat him up. Actually, no. Half of him is running away to Honduras. You know what? Let's go. Let's go crush the army in Yucatan then, and then we'll go to Honduras later. Cause that's the bigger army. Yeah. All right. Actually, no. This is the bigger army. It's just not as many folks in it right now. All right. Let's drop off you and you. And the rest of you can come this way. Oh, he died. <laughs> no more armies. Okay. Um, split in half and go this way. And I think we're done. Just you can go back to uh, Chesapeake and put the speed back up. Good. All she wrote. All right, colonizing up here. Very good. Um, yeah, that's Wasteland. Okay. It's a darker gray, so you can tell it's Wasteland. I don't know what province it is, but it's Wasteland. Uh, we really don't need any of these. We might get some of them at some point, but we'll focus on the interior for now. Do we have a colony almost done? Salinan. Yes, we do. All right, well, I guess... I guess we can wait. I'm a little anxious to get this going. But, um... Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's get it going. I don't want to miss an opportunity to get the entire coast here. <laughs> that would suck. Someone just, like, Portugal just jumps in. Oop, mine now. That would really suck. Oh, he recruited a dude. Not gonna help, guy. Not gonna help. 
Britain allied the Netherlands again. Damn it. They were enemies for a short time, but it didn't last. Peasant rebels, whatever. Lose stability. Oh, that's a nice thing. People are complaining about our narrow-minded approach to new ideas. Okay, let's just lose some stability then. That sounds like a good plan. Portugal, will you please colonize Mosquito? If you do, then we can give you a colony here in Mexico. Uh, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Looks like we're going to have a border with Portugal, which I didn't want. Finish him up. Uh, let's go group up. Give you a general, and should be able to peace out as soon as this falls. Okay. Now, what do we want? Uh, we could annex them, but we don't have enough points. It would take a thousand diplomatic points. Okay. But each province alone would cost us zero points. Huh. Oh, okay. So this is one of the weird things. I forgot about this. Yeah. If you take the capital... In other words, if you annex their, their nation, then it costs you 50 diplo points per province which I guess for the Aztecs is 1,000 points total. However, if you take any provinces at all, <clears throat> it does not cost you any points. And I don't understand that mechanic, but there it is. So we can't even take all of them unless we just annex, but that would cost 1,000 points. And I'm not willing to spend 1,000 points. So let's just take their northern stuff. And uh, we can come back for other stuff later. I want these, my friend. Hmm. Damn it, I want to get like a hundred. Is that too much to ask? Oh, is that one worth a lot? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Well, no matter what we do, it looks like we're going to be over 100% overextension, which is not cool. A hundred and forty-eight overextension. Ouch! Okay, maybe what we do is we just plan future wars. So let's try to keep our overextension reasonable. 96 overextension. That'll do. <sighs> what causes the most overextension? Sialtecus. Okay. Tohikuan. Okay. And there's some cheap ones down here. Quiet, chill. 
All right, so yeah, we'll leave um, this one alone. 96 overextension. We'll go with that. Man, okay, so we can't do uh, a fantastic peace deal, unfortunately. Give me your trade power. All right. And we'll come back for more later. All right, let's core all this stuff. And do some conversions. Yeah, sure. Should be pretty easy to convert all these provinces. And our diplomats are free, so why don't we come down here? I guess we'll get relations up. With the Aztecs? Might as well. Alright, rebels are down. Ah, we can take some technology. Well, let's do that then. Russia still has disputed succession. And we could be, we could become defender of the Catholic faith. <laughs> uh, that is very amusing. Let's be defender of the faith. Alright, convert that. Actually, why don't you come over here? And uh, you're going up there. Why don't you go there? And we'll go here. Aztecs are improving relations with us. Okay, we'll do the same with you, bro. We can be friends. Sort of. So we'll just eat them one chunk at a time. Rather than uh, all at once. I thought we could just gorge on the Aztecs and be like, nom nom nom, gone. But you can't do that anymore. Hmm. I sure as hell don't want to protect her. Okay, colony done. Uh, move on up. Oh, this is gorgeous. We have no diplomats, and our colonists are not doing anything. Okay, go to Pomo. Uh, what do we want to diplomatize? Uh, Portugal, maybe? You know, we're pretty good on Portugal. We're pretty good on everyone. Uh, oh, maybe we could do Castilian La Plata. There you go. And Spain is currently invading the Inca. That's nice. Here's a weird thing. Castile made all these colonies, right? So they are Castilian La Plata. But then Castile formed Spain. Right? So why doesn't that change the name of these to Spanish La Plata or Spanish Brazil? Why is it still Castilian? Isn't that weird? Oh wow, Portugal is colonizing South Africa in in force. Holy crap. Last time I looked, there was nobody in South Africa. Anywho, we're out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. We are coring and converting these lands we just took from the Aztecs. And it looks like we can go for um, probably maybe three or four wars before we can annex them. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.